All right, so I'm back. I had to run out and get a better marker, a black marker, which would allow you to better see things on the uh, board here. So what I'm gonna do to start out is rewrite the Arabic alphabet. Remember, the Arabic alphabet, the key with being able to read it later is to recognize the letters and be familiar with the alphabet. That's critical. So, again, not master the alphabet, like I said before, but be familiar with it enough. So, remember, it's read from right to left, okay? And the letters go kind of like this. Elif, Be, Te, Fe, right? Then I know better now. Gim, Ho, Ha, right? Del, del, re, zin, right? Sin, oh, there goes my board. Sin, shin, sod, dog, ta, za. Elif, Be, Te, Be, Gim, Hof, Ha, Del, Fel, Re, Zin, Sin, Shin, Son, Te, Do, Ta, Za, Ein, Rein, Fe, Kof, Kef, Le, Min, Nun, He, Wow, Ye. I see you here, let me just show you the Ye. There's the Ye, okay? So now let's, what I did, another thing that I did, just to get practice with the letters, just write different things down that you hear, it's up to you. Um, like I showed you before, the men plus the moon, right, those two together equal, and notice I'm writing right to the left. Mean, which means who are from in Arabic, right? Um, the word I in Arabic is Enna, right? So Enna is Elif, Nun, and Elif. That equals I, right? The word for you is enta, right? So that would be enta, enta like that, right? And enta equals you. And actually, that's for a male. So for a um, for a female, you would say nt, which would be something similar. I think it's like this. This might be a little bit wrong, but you have a thing at the bottom there, which is like you for a female. Again, this might not be 100% correct, but um, it's just teaching you kind of how some things are formed in Arabic so that we can get over the hurdle of the squiggly line so they don't look like this anymore. It looks like real letters. So. Anna, enter, NT, let's go for the next step. Um, in Arabic, the way you say Egypt is Mas, 
right? So this is the this is the mean, the sod letter, and the ray letter, right? So mas or masri means Egyptian, right? Mean, sod, ray, right? Put those together. Let's make a quick sentence. Let's make the sentence called Anna Mean Mus. Okay. Anna Mean Mus. What does that mean? From our learn, we learned that Anna means I. And this could be who or from. In this case, it's from. Mean. Mus is Egypt, right? So this means Anna min mus. Anna min from mus. I'm from Egypt, right? So this translates into I am from Egypt, okay? We'll stop there, but Again, it's critical to learn the alphabet. Elif, be, te, te, sorry, te, not right, te, te, gin, right, ho, ha, and just keep practicing um, so you can be more familiar with the normal words. All right. Thanks. Speak soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.